Hello there guys and welcome to our 27C++ tutorial. This tutorial is a continuation, it's going to be our 2 dimensional array tutorial 3. So in this tutorial, uh, if you remember from our, if you didn't watch our previous tutorial, uh, tutorial 26, you should go ahead and watch that. In that tutorial, basically we had the code that you see here. So if you don't have this, please pause the video, go ahead and create a new project, add a new source file and make sure you have this code. And this code we just uh, from our previous story we just created a function to print our two dim uh, the elements in our two dimensional array which we had initialized up here which I, I erased because for this tutorial we're gonna be, we are actually going to ask the user for this tutorial what we're going to do is ask the user to enter the elements of a three by three array and then we're going to use a function to basically collect the input and then we're going to use another function to calculate the sum of all the elements in the two D array. So let's waste no time and go ahead and get started. And then, like always, uh, after the, after we type our code, we're gonna go over it. So let's go ahead and create another function prototype here called um, get user input, and it's gonna have a two uh, it's gonna have a two dimensional array as parameter. I'm gonna call it a1. Since we know we're gonna we're gonna pass it a three by three array, but you can make it as big as you wish and certain or you can ask the user to enter the dimension of the array but for this purpose for this tutorial we're gonna actually we know it's a three by three trying to make it a little bit easy next we're gonna have another function prototype this one is gonna have a integer return type so and it's gonna call um, array sum I guess and this is gonna have the 2d I'm gonna call it a24 this is gonna be our prototype here alright let's go up here and type void get user input and make sure to put int a1 okay to collect our input we're gonna have nested for loops just like we did in our printing function down here as you see down here let's go ahead and type I'm gonna type int k equals zero uh, k must be less than three and let's increment k by one let's have another for loop in here there we go and we're gonna type int n equals zero n has to be less than 3 and n plus plus and inside here let's ask the user to enter the input so I'm gonna ask him enter the enter a number for array location row I'm going to type here the row is going to be k plus 1 and for the column and let's see here column uh, n plus 1 and let's type c in and store that in our array so a1 k n all right so here we are basically collecting our input then let's go ahead and down and go ahead and type our the function to calculate to find the array sum alright let's go ahead and type int a2 and 3 in here alright let's we're gonna go ahead and declare a local variable here called sum and initialize it to 0 this is going to be keeping track basically well this is going to calculate our sum so we have to go to each element in the array we're going to do the same thing we're going to have two nested for loops in here as well so as mine is I'll just go ahead and copy this up here and paste it we're not going to need this right here this is just to make it look needed and we're going to get rid of the C out and inside our second for loop we're going to go ahead and type sum plus equals 
uh, A2 and it's gonna be IJ and then let's go outside our for loops and we're gonna type return sum now to go ahead and finish all this let's go ahead and our main and uh, on top of the print to the array we're gonna go ahead and type get user input and pass it my array as this other parameter as the parameter and then let's go ahead and print out I'm gonna say here the sum of the 2d array equals and then let's call our function here array sum and uh, put that line here to make it look a little bit nicer and let's pass it my array all right so let's go ahead and build this go ahead and build it so you can see it's actually function properly okay so it was built successfully let's go ahead and run it okay so he's asking me enter a number for array location row one column one I'm gonna enter number one two and then three and four five six seven eight nine well you don't see here eight printer but it's there anyways we he we see here um actually let me look a little bit nice let me make it look a little bit nicer for you guys the reason we see that the same line here is because we need a end line here to make it look a little bit nicer so let me put an end line there we go all right let me go ahead and build this one more time and it was built successfully so let me go ahead and run for you guys all right so let me go and one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine and you can see here one three four seven eight. those are the elements I, in I inputted you see our array get printed out here and then we see the sum of the array okay guys so that was a quick tutorial on two dimensional arrays uh, let's go ahead and go over our code very fast here alright so let's go ahead and talk about our getting the input here so we're using our nested for loop so first here we're asking the user to enter the column or uh, a number for location row one column one and then we're basically storing that on that location and we're going we, we keep doing this this is just like our print to the array as we went over in our previous tutorial so if you want to understand this better please go ahead and watch that tutorial and our sum here we're doing basically the same thing but instead of printing out the numbers or storing them in the array we basically going over each element located into the array and then we're, in, we're basically setting the sum we're adding the sum to whatever we're, we're adding the number located in, uh, in the in the 2d array to the sum and then after we go through all the elements and add them all together we return that up here in the main and we print out our answer so I hope you guys like this tutorial and hopefully understood everything if you have if you have any questions I'll be more than glad to help you guys and please leave any comments and please leave comments and send me messages if you have any questions and or if you have any basically any um, tutorials in mind that you would like me to do and please don't for, please don't forget to subscribe guys and leave comments and please watch all our other videos and don't forget to subscribe thank you once again